Hey everybody, welcome to Bucket's Garage. Today we got a 1966 Sears Allstate that I've actually mounted a Honda Trail 70 copy engine to this bike, which is electric start and uh, high, you know, the ignition systems of HEI, that's it. Can't think this morning. Anyway, this is what I did. This is the video, part one of how I put the engine on there. Not definitely not done with this thing. This thing's gonna get all the wiring harness, so I'm gonna change everything around, get a good carburetor. But this is just the beginning of this video. And remember, please like and subscribe to this channel for more of this coming up. We're gonna do this in like a maybe two or three part series. But I actually had to cut the frame. Don't get mad at me. I know this is an old bike, it's a classic to do this, but hey. Sometimes you have to upgrade in order to make it cool. I can almost get another frame on B-Bay. Damn. So, anyway, let's get right into this video. You can watch this sucker right now and see how this thing is done. And thanks for watching Bucket's Garage. Okay, day one taking this I have an engine that I have a part casing and I'm gonna have to drill a hole there I'm gonna have to do some cutting in the frame I don't want that starter to fit in there and you can see that's gonna be a tight ass fit and the chain should line up with the sprocket because it goes inside here. It's got to be the inside. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Oh, you're going to cut up that frame. That vintage frame. But you know what? I could get one of those frames on eBay for 100 bucks, I think it is. So if I destroy it, at least all the other parts are still good. Because the engine is totally garbage in those boxes over there. So, I'm going to have to drill this out. I'm going to measure it. I'm going to have to cut all this metal out of here. At least this section here. The bottom plate. I'm going to have to probably remove these and weld on a plate. The screws under the back underneath the motor to give this support. So, I'm going to measure this out carefully, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun, because that motor there. I want to go on it. Okay, now, what I did is I mocked it up to clear this. And also the front. And I marked it where I'm going to need to cut the frame. Not a whole lot, but quite a bit. So, yeah. Guess I'm getting into this. Diving into it. Let's make this thing fast. Okay, well I got this part cut out. This is just a temporary nut holding that engine case in. I got that part cut. Got this other case set in. I got to do the same to that side. And then this engine should fit inside here. Bolt on here. Sit here. And then I'll have to make a bracket. To go from that hole to that hole. Sorry, I can't point it out, but from that hole to here. That should hold it in there. Okay, now I'm on the other side here. Getting ready to cut this side out. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's cut out. Now to test it and see if the actually the block's going to fit in there. All right. 
All right, putting the engine on this side, the block, mocked up a little bit here. Looks like the starter's gonna fit. I'll make the bracket from here to here. That's the easy side. Let's go to the other side. Put all that stuff over while I'm going. Now, as you see, now the other half the engine's not here. It's gonna be sticking out. So I'm gonna have to make a bracket from here to here or here to up to here. Same with this one, it's gonna be a longer with a spacer, but we'll see how this is gonna go. Okay, well I got the engine up there temporarily. Starter fits, Oof. carburetor barely fits. I might be able to switch this around a different manifold to get the carburetor to come out sideways instead of that way. I got some gaps in there, but starting to look, and that's going to be a tight foot space. Same with this side. I don't know if I use one of the old Honda, Honda Trail 70 engines or something to be a lot more room. With this mechanism here, starter and all, makes it a little, little more tough. A little more, less room. But, looks like the chain's going to line up good. I could probably get a chain and put it on here and, and see. Because it looks like it's going to be good. And that was my main concern was this chain being on here. Wiring I could do with that. But this is the beginning, boys. Oh, man. This is going to be cool when it's done. Yeah. Holy buckets. I can't wait. Now, I'm going to have to do a little more grinding here on the back. Because this needs to be flush with the body. Because it's going to make that in an angle. See, like this. So, I need to make that flush. I got to grind right back here. Right, right there. A little bit more off on that, and we're good to go. Okay, guys. I'm going to sit back and have myself a cold one. But anyhow, we got that done up to the point of that side of the engine. So, this is the end of part one. Um... In fact, I'm going to have to show you in part two, uh, I didn't have to flush out that top one because the bottom one was tight and there was going to be a little bit of a gap up there, so I had to put a little wash in there, but I'll show you that in the next video. So anyway, thanks for watching and the progress is going to go on. I'm not sure when I'm going to do the next one. Uh, we got a lot of things going on. I got to actually get ready, ready for Portland, Indiana. Uh, the scooter meet out there. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. You got to go to Portland, Indiana. Uh, my friend Terrell fixes all. <clears throat> He'll be there. I will be there. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, if you want to check out Terrell's page, check out his skits and his lawnmower repair page. Uh, I'll leave the down in the comments. Check it out. If you have any comments, questions, you're welcome to leave them in there. So, anyhow, I don't want to keep you guys. Uh, I'm going to keep myself from that beer. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Holy buckets. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. And when I post the next video, you'll get the notification. All right. You guys have a great night and a wonderful week ahead. We'll see you. Take care.